This is every 90 plus icon put onto one big map of Europe. And this wheel is going to decide who we get first. And it's going to be Pirlo. As you can see, Pirlo is here in the middle, Switzerland, Austria area. But which direction is he going to attack in? He's got some big icons around him. He's going to attack to the east. Okay. That means it's going to be Pirlo versus Puskas. Oh my god. We're going to do this for every single icon until there's one icon remaining. The ultimate FC24 icon. And in order to decide which competition they're going to be competing in, we're going to spin this wheel. Yeah, okay, a lot of wheels, but trust me, this is going to be absolute chaos. Let's spin this wheel and see what competition they're going to be in. Okay, it's going to be most assists in one career mode season. Let's sim it out and see who wins. Okay, we're here at AC Milan with Andrea Pirlo. I mean, he's definitely the favorite for this one, right? Surely he's winning this. Oh my god, three goals, three assists. Oh, I mean, he played every game of the season, but I think Puskas can catch that number. Let's see. And obviously, Puskas is playing with Real Madrid. For assists, he gets nine. Oh my god. Okay, so from the first challenge already, Puskas has beaten Pirlo at assists. Maybe attackers are just OP in the simulation. Either way, we get to add him to the map. So here we go. Pirlo is gone. Get him out of here. We can paint Pirlo's entire territory in Puskas colors. And there we go. Now Puskas owns all this territory. The problem for him is he's in contact with so many icons that he'll probably end up running into some of these guys quite often. The strategy for this could be to literally turtle in the corner and hide. Maybe like Baggio out on this island and then get to the very, very last battle and just win. And then you win the entire thing. Let's spin the wheel again. Here we go, spinning the wheel. Who are we going to get? It looks like we're going to get Prince. Okay, the German striker. And this is the map for Prince. Only one, two, three, four, five people really around her. This is going to be a big one. Let's spin this wheel and see who she's going to be facing. Which direction is Prince going to be moving in? She is going to be going east. That is definitely Lothar Matthias. Here you go, Lothar Matthias. Brilliant stuff. We're going to have two German legends facing off against each other. How are they going to do? I wonder what challenge they're going to get, though. Some of these challenges are completely ridiculous. Uh, some of them are maybe a little bit more normal. Uh, which one are we going to get? Is this a viewer's choice? I think it is. Okay. Who would win in a fist fight? Oh, my God. This one's pretty simple. We just put it up as a poll on YouTube. Who would win in a fist fight? What we're going to do is we're going to do three more challenges, and then we're going to come back to this one. Let's spin the wheel again. Okay, it's Rivaldo. He's all the way here in Greece. He has four people he could really take on. He's going to go southeast. That's definitely Roberto Carlos. Let's see how it goes. This is the challenge. What is it going to be? Oh, this is a good one. Whoever sells first wins. Okay. Just an update on the poll. We've had three votes so far and they're all for Lothar Mateus. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. What we're going to do is simple. We're going to add Rivaldo to the transfer list. We're going to add Roberto Carlos to the transfer list. And whoever sells first wins. Literally, it's that simple. We're going to simulate day by day and wait for the offers to come in. Who's going to get offers first? Come on. Nothing. This is really not working out. Okay. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We're putting them on the loan list. Let's see if that actually yields anything. Anything? Oh, there we go. Roberto Carlos loan offer. Two years. Let's accept it. Let's see. Rivaldo needs an offer very soon or he's going out of the video early. There's another offer for Roberto Carlos. There's an offer for Rivaldo from Spurs. There's another loan offer. Here we go. Okay, this is getting real now. We've accepted two loan offers from each player. Who's going to move first? They moved on the same day. It's a draw. It's literally a draw. I'm going to recall them both. I'm going to put them back on the loan list again. We're going to have to do a tiebreaker. That is crazy. Okay, we're on to deadline day now. This is insane. There's a Roberto Carlos loan offer from Manchester United. It looks like he could be moving. Rivaldo gets one as well. Oh, this better not be the same thing. Better not be both on the same hour or I will just lose it. Rivaldo's got another one from Manchester City. Nothing from either team. But another offer for Roberto Carlos. Rivaldo is awaiting loans. This is insane. Who's going to go first? Someone's leaving. Who's it going to be? That's Rivaldo. Rivaldo leaves first. On the second time of asking, he's gone. And that means Rivaldo wins again. Against Roberto Carlos. He conquers Turkey. Roberto Carlos is not the greatest icon in FC24. Rivaldo is still in the running. And here we go. Roberto Carlos, the 31st icon of 35, is gone. And we're painting it blue. Turkey is now blue. It's all Rivaldo. I mean, Yashin is still massive up here, but Rivaldo has just taken one giant leap. He is massive. Okay, he's basically reinstated the Ottoman Empire. Let's spin the wheel again. Who are we going to get this time? Anyone interesting? Oh, this is going to be a good one. It's going to be Maldini. South Central Italy. Here we go. This is Maldini's situation. He's got a lot of icons around him. Baresi, Cafu. He could honestly play Baggio, Del Piero as well. Let's see who he gets. Let's spin this wheel. West. Oh, okay, that's got to be Baggio, right? Yeah, that's Baggio. So it's Maldini versus Baggio. What challenge are they going to have? Oh my God. It's going to be goalkeepers, isn't it? Oh no. Make them goalkeepers. Whoever keeps more clean sheets wins. How did Baggio get on? 24 games and zero clean sheets. Zero. Not a single one. Oh God. And here is Paolo Maldini 
54 games and nine clean sheets. By far the winner, definitely the better goalkeeper. He moves on. So here we go. Remove Baggio and turn it all into Maldini land. It's all Maldini. As you can see from the poll, it's 95% Mateus. It's just over for Bridget Prince. And now this is what the map looks like. Lothar Mateus takes over Germany. Starting to get a little bit more clarity in this map, but there's still a long way to go yet. Let's spin the wheel and see where we end up. Oh, this is going to be good. It's Rude Hullet. Rude Hullet with the advantage. He is attacking. Which direction is he going to go? He's going to go southeast, which is effectively south because it's the exact same person. He's going to be taking on Ferenc Puskas for sure. If it was east, it would be Sava, but it's not. Southeast is definitely Puskas. Jörg Muller has somehow avoided a conflict this entire time. Penalty shootout. Okay, let's do it. Hullet steps up first and he puts his away. Puskas steps up next. Can he score his? He does. Top corner. Now it's down to their teammates. It's literally Chelsea versus Real Madrid. For Hullet versus Puskas and Sterling misses. Rodrigo steps up and puts his away. That's a good pen. Advantage Puskas. He's already won one. Can he win again? Enzo puts it away. Puskas has already knocked out Pirlo. Can he knock out Rude Hullet? Alaba puts it so far into the postage stamp. Top corner. Thiago Silva steps up next. Kind of has to score and he slots it away. Jude Bellingham. Can he put it away? A terrible penalty, but it somehow goes in. And they have to score. It's Conor Gallagher stepping up to the plate. Puts it home. But here we go. For Puskas to win, it's Camavinga. Saved by Robert Sanchez. Hullet's still alive. Caicedo buries the penalty. And now it's advantage Hullet. Fede Valverde. Saved again! Sanchez saves again! And Puskas is gone. Rude Hollett progresses to the next round. What a performance by Sanchez. And what an incredible penalty shootout. Let's knock out Ferenc Puskas. Ferenc Puskas, one of the best icons in the game. Gone. Dead. I mean, he's not dead. He's just knocked out. Like Bridget Prince when she fights against Lothar Mateus. Knocked out. Okay, let's expand Hollett's territory. There we go. That's a sizable chunk of land there for Rude Hollett. There we go. Rude Hollett dominating Central Europe. Let's spin the wheel again. I wonder when we're going to see Pele in all of this. I mean, he's stuck out on Iceland. Kind of put him out there for a laugh. It's going to be Dennis Bergkamp. Okay, we're going to have some clarity in the UK. Unless he attacks south and goes against France. Billy, let's see. We're not going to do that. We're going to be going northwest, which is going to be Thierry Henry. Bergkamp versus Henry. Let's see what happens. Oh no. Oh, this is going to be carnage. Okay, this was a, like a 1 in 25 chance of happening. I didn't think it would happen this early, but here we go. This is when it starts to get real. It's exactly what it sounds like. We're about to half the field. So this is what we've done. Now, some people are kind of lucky in that they actually don't have anyone to play against, which means they survive this absolute coup. But basically, we can scrap the Henri versus Bergkamp thing. This is completely changing the game. Here we go. See these black lines that I've drawn? That's who's going to be going against who. So, for example, down here in Iberia, it'll be Eusebio versus Xavi. It'll be Raul versus Casillas. We're going to have Bergkamp versus Abili. We're going to have Charlton versus Honoré. George Best versus Pele. We're going to have Mia Hamm versus Garincha. Sava versus the might of the USSR. Lev Yashin, baby. We're going to have some other battles. So you can see them on the map. Anyway, basically what's going to happen now is I'm going to take off half the field. Half the field, the trump card is now removed. And we're going to spin the wheel. And whatever the wheel lands on is going to be the competition that we do. And we're going to run it for every single one of these icons. Let's go. This is massive for the video. A lot of your favorite icons are going to crash out in this challenge. Okay. I like this one. Put them on the same team for a season and the better player wins. Now, there are some sticking points. Of course, there's a few women involved here. Mia Ham, Sava, Abili. Uh, the problem with that is they're not in male career mode and uh, th that means we actually cannot put them on the same team as these guys. Basically, what that means is they lose by default. I'm not even kidding. They're gone. I hoping I wouldn't have to do this. France is now Dennis Bergkamp. Mia Hamm is dead. It's all Brazil. Always has been, baby. Is now huge. He runs the north and Pele has his own little island as well. Poor Sava. She didn't even really get a chance. She's just been absolutely decimated by the might of the USSR to taking over Ukraine. I feel a bit bad. I feel very bad, actually. But it's not my fault. It's just the video, okay? Please spare me. It's not my fault women aren't in career mode. And Lev Yashin can get even bigger. He's so low resolution because he's so big. Anyway, that's already cleaned 
cleaned up the map quite a lot. We're about to do a lot more with this. Here we go. Okay, Iron Man was not in this 1v1 between Pele and George Best, but he's here as well as Nesta Maldini. Either way, it's George Best versus Pele. Top goal scores Marcus Rashford. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, George Best is 13 and 2. Pele has 11 and 8 and more appearances. I think Pele wins this one. I think he's probably more influential than George Best, who got benched behind Marcus Rashford. That's hilarious. Okay, so Pele wins. Bobby Charlton here at Arsenal. Top goal scorer was Thierry Henry, 26 and 14. Bobby Charlton with 28 games and three goals. Definitely Thierry Henry wins this. Charlton gone. Henry moves on to the next round. That's two people down already. George Best and Bobby Charlton, two of Manchester United's big three, are already on the floor. Let's keep going. This one's going to be a tough one to call. It's Real Madrid. So it's, a, it's Raul versus Casillas, and Casillas has eight games. Oh, never mind. And yeah, Raul's top scorer. Okay, not a tough call at all. Raul moves on to the next round. Casillas was on the bench behind, what, Courtois the entire time. So Raul's definitely moving on. And we're at Benfica now for Eusebio versus Xavi. Eusebio played 10 games. Oh my God. What is, what is happening? Although, Xavi played eight. Eusebio scored six goals. So I think Eusebio actually wins this. Eusebio played 10 games all season and still won. He got benched ahead of Rafa and Di Maria. Petar Musa. That is mortifying. Eusebio did better in his 10 appearances. Uh, so he moves on. This is absolute chaos. Some of these guys just aren't playing and some of them are scoring like 25 goals and getting 15 assists. We're here at the San Siro now with AC Milan. We're going to have Maldini versus Cafu and here they are. Maldini, yeah, plays the whole season 17 clean sheets. Cafu plays 55 games and keeps 15 clean sheets. He does have a bit more attacking output, but I'd like to give this to Maldini, I think, for the two extra clean sheets. I think that's probably the way to go. I'm going to give this to Maldini. Him and Tamori at the back, unstoppable. Maldini, the defensive stalwart. It's going to move on. And here we go at Juventus. Zidane versus Baresi. And there's Zidane played the whole season. 12 goals and 13 assists. Not even top assists. That goes to Rabio. Pretty good season, though. What about Baresi? Yeah, Baresi did play the whole year at centre-back. This is a tough one to call. Six clean sheets, though. I don't know. This is tough. I think the benefit of the doubt has to go to the attacking player. 12 and 13 plus nine clean sheets. Baresi kept six. I, I don't know how that makes sense. <laughs> when they both played the full season, one of them has more clean sheets than the other. Makes no sense. Anyway, I think I'm going to give this one to Zinedine Zidane. Continuing our tour of Europe, we're at Chelsea to see Rude Hullet versus Alessandro Del Piero. And here they are. Who has done better? Oh my God. Hullet with 33 and seven. Del Piero has played 30 games. Yeah, okay. This is a, this is a whitewash. Hullet with 40 goal contributions. Del Piero with literally seven. Rude Hullet definitely moves on again to the next round. It's Carlos Alberto versus Rivaldo featuring the ghost of Roberto Carlos, who should already be dead. And it's going to be Rivaldo with 13 and seven. Okay, Carlos Alberto played the full season, three assists and 10 clean sheets compared to Rivaldo's 13 games and seven goals. I think I've got to give this to Carlos Alberto. As much as seven goals in 13 games is pretty good. I mean, Carlos Alberto has been a stalwart at right back. It has to be Carlos Alberto moving on instead of Rivaldo. Bayern Munich, it's going to be Lothar Mateus versus Gerd Muller featuring Levy Ashen. Okay, Lothar Mateus, 10 games, 10 games the whole season. Conrad Leimer has 84 games. Lothar Mateus has 10. Pirlo's here as well for some reason, but he's dead. Versus Jared Muller also with 10 games. Hold on. The battle of the worst players in the world. Okay, it's got to go to Jared Muller, I think. More goals, more assists, more clean sheets as well. Probably more influential. It's going to be Jared Muller over Lothar Mateus. Germany is Jared Muller's. Their bomber moves on. And now at Ajax, it's Johan Cruyff versus Marco van Basten. The final one. Cruyff had a single game. Marco van Basten had eight. Why? Brian Brobby. Oh my God. They literally benched Cruyff from Brian Brobby. Okay, but I think Van Basten wins though. Yeah, Van Basten eight games, six goals. Cruyff one game, zero goals. It's got to go to Van Basten. Cruyff is out. Van Basten moves on. Okay, I think I'm done. Oh my god, that took like forever. This is the map after the purge that's just happened. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen icons left. We're over halfway there. I've been recording for almost two hours now and I want to die. Okay, let's spin the wheel again. Okay, here we go. No time to waste. Let's go. What are we going to have next? It's going to be Zinedine Zidane. Finally, he gets his own challenge. Zinedine Zidane will be going to the south to face Paolo Maldini. What challenge are they going to have? What are we going to do? What are we going to make them do? Going to be most appearances as captain. Oh my God, that's going to be Maldini, right? Yeah, okay. So Paolo Maldini captained Italy for a record 75 appearances as captain. Yeah, and he assumed captaincy in 1996. And he was Milan captain for 13 years. There is absolutely no way Zidane trumps that. Maldini wins. I don't know what the exact numbers are, but there is no way that Zinedine Zidane gets close to that. That's really unfortunate for Zidane. That might be the one thing that he was definitely going to lose in. Zidane is dead and that territory now belongs to Paolo Maldini. His empire just keeps on growing. Italy is now
now his more or less. All he needs to do is take out R9 next and he'll be fine. I mean, he's already taken out Zidane. So there's a pretty good chance he can do it. Who are we going to get next? It's going to be Thierry Henry, I think. Yes, it is. Oh, this is going to be interesting. He is in a really interesting location. He could be taking on Pele, Garincha, even Van Basten. And then, of course, Dennis Bergkamp as well. Let's see which way he goes. He's going to be going west. That's going to be Pele. Here we go. Henri versus Pele. The matchup that nobody asked for. And they are going to be... Oh, it's viewer's choice. Who smells better? Okay. Who smells better? Let's add the poll. Pele or Thierry Henry? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done in my life. Post. All right, we'll check back on this in three challenges time and see who ends up winning between Henri and Pele. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. Spinning the wheel. Who are we going to get? It's going to be Eusebio. Yeah, there we go. Eusebio. Eusebio is in Portugal. If he gets west, he's got literally nobody. He's going to go east. That is going to be Raul from more or less all of Iberia. Ronaldinho hasn't had a single matchup this whole time. Neither has R9 Ronaldo. They're just turtling their way through this, avoiding fights in this mad battle royale, trying to somehow keep their heads over the water. Here we go. What's it going to be? My camera's died. Most trophies in a career mode season. Okay, I like that. Raul versus Eusebio for what is effectively the entirety of Iberia. Raul does get his start up top. 43 and 22. Oh my god. <laughs> 65 gold contributions in 53 games. I don't think I've ever seen numbers that high. But we only care about trophies. They win La Liga on goal difference, but that's a trophy. Nothing else, though. Nothing else? Nothing else. No, nothing. One trophy for Raul despite a record-breaking season. Let's go and check on Eusebio Benfica. That is an insane season from Raul. But I fear that despite that really good performance, one trophy probably won't be enough. We'll see anyway. Let's see what happens. Here is Eusebio. 90 one overall 35 and 13 so a very good season for him as well 48 contributions in 46 games how many trophies did he win well he didn't win the portuguese league one point off braga any other trophies yeah taca portuguesa goes to sl benfica nothing else no champions league no europa league and no conference league it's one trophy each and when it comes to a tiebreaker it goes to the attacking player which is eusebio so eusebio does continue on one trophy each but eusebio was attacking so eusebio is going to take over Iberia. That's such a shame for Raul after such a good season. But the rules are the rules. Let's move on. Don't forget as well, who smells better between Pele and Henri? We still have that poll going on. Two more battles and then we can figure out who smells the best. According to my audience anyway. And here is Raul. Delete him and make Eusebio bigger. Overtaking Iberia is Eusebio. That's what the map looks like now. Let's spin the wheel again. Who are we going to get? Are we going to land on someone we haven't got yet? It's Carlos Alberto. Bulgaria, Romania, Moldova. Taking over a little bit more land than that right now. Where is he heading? Oh, north. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be the battle for the USSR. It's Leviashin versus Carlos Alberto for the entire Eastern Bloc. Oh, this is so politically charged. What's it gonna be? Don't be most goals. Most goals in a career mode season. Yashin's a goalkeeper. Oh my god. Oh, no. Is there a point in even doing this? Because Carlos Alberto, even if he gets zero goals. He'll still win because he's attacking Levy. There's no point doing this. D I'm fine. Okay, I'll sim it. Give me like 10 minutes. I'll be back. Let me sim this out. All right, Carlos Alberto versus uh, Levy Ashen. Pele's here as well. Don't worry about that. Levy Ashen has zero goals for Manchester City. He's washed. And Carlos Alberto also has zero goals. But uh, like I said, Alberto is attacking Yashin. It's a draw, so Alberto wins. I don't know what you guys expected, okay? I'm sorry. This is the craziest thing. Big Levy Ashen. Delete that layer. Carlos Alberto is now the Tsar of Russia. You thought I was fooling you? Okay. And uh, there we go. Paint it all pink. And now it's all Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto is winning. I think he's definitely winning. Uh, <laughs> let's spin the wheel again. This poll is ongoing, by the way, and there is a mini comeback going on. Spin that wheel. Who are we going to get? Finally, we get someone new. It's Zico. He's kind of flanked <laughs> by Carlos Alberto. But uh, yeah, Zico. Okay. Which direction is he going? gonna go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Zico versus Carlos Alberto. -na 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 -na. Let's go. Oh, my God. That is unreal. Zico versus Carlos Alberto. It's another poll. Oh, my God. Okay. Who would win in a rap battle between Carlos Alberto and Zico? You know what? Let's do it. And that is the third challenge done now. Zico versus Carlos Alberto. But because we're three challenges in, we can check this poll. And yes, Thierry Henry wins. Let me just refresh to make sure. 
94 votes, 81% for Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry officially smells better than Pele, and Henry can take Ireland and Iceland for himself. As much as I don't want Thierry Henry to take Ireland, I'm left with no choice. Pele is done. The highest rated icon is officially out. Thierry Henry now owns Iceland. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 icons left. We're really running down the numbers now. Spin that wheel, baby! Who's next? What, who's gonna fight next? It's gonna be Dennis Bergkamp, who owns France and the south of England. Can we finally see some action for Ronaldinho? He's just been sitting in Barcelona the whole time. We're not. He's gonna go northwest. That's Thierry Henry. Bergkamp versus Henry. Last time we got Bergkamp versus Henry, we sent the entire map into chaos. What are we gonna do? Bergkamp versus Henry. What is Brexit means Brexit? Oh, no. Oh, it's Grimsby time! It's, it's really simple. Uh, Henry and Bergkamp are Grimsby Town players. But because we're playing on the same team, they're technically teammates. Which means we're going to spin this wheel again. Just stick with me. I promise it's really simple. South. That's Ronaldinho. Yeah, South. Yeah, that has to be Ronaldinho. Oh, perfect. Right, okay. So, basically, Grimsby must get promoted. If they do get promoted, then Henry and Bergkamp get to split Ronaldinho's territory. And if they don't get promoted, then Ronaldinho takes out Bergkamp and Henry. It's a chance for a 2v1. Let's see what happens. Can Grimsby get themselves promoted? Then Ronaldinho is taking them both out and gobbling up their territory. Here we are in June. It's the moment of truth. Did Grimsby go up? First in the league! They go top and Ronaldinho is out of this video. The man has had nothing go his way this whole time and he's gone. Who did the brunt of the lifting here? Top goal scorer Dennis Bergkamp. Harry Clifton was second and Thierry Henry was then third. Bit of a weird one. But uh, Grimsby dominated the league. Yeah, Ronaldinho gone. Poor Ronaldinho. Delete the layer. What I've done is just given Henri the UK. Uh, Bergkamp's given up the south of Britain and instead taking Catalonia and these little islands out here as well. I think it's a pretty fair trade-off. Keep everyone's land all together. All the Ronaldinho supporters are going to be absolutely livid. I don't blame them. He's had an absolute stinker. And there we go. R9 is still just chilling here, by the way. He hasn't had a single battle this entire time. Will he get it now? Okay, let's spin the wheel. Day two of recording. Who are we going to get now? Day to the last 11 people. And it's going to be Eusebio. Okay. Okay, he got southeast. There's literally nothing to the southeast. We just have to go again. Eusebio got literally nothing. And it's going to be Garincha this time. Okay. We have a couple of people around Garincha. He could take on Henri as well. He could have Gerd Muller, Zico, or Carlos Alberto. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's spin this wheel and see what Garincha gets. West. Okay, that's definitely going to be Thierry Henry. It's going to be Garincha versus Henri at what? What's it gonna be? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. So as you can see, Thierry Henry, 93 pace, 90 shooting, 82 pass. You can see his stats. What we're gonna do is very simple. He had 93 pace and now he has six pace. We're inverting his statistics. There we go. Thierry Henry's stats have been inverted. He has 48 defending. He's 10 overall. If Garincha is higher than 10 overall, uh, then he wins. And if he's lower rated than 10 overall, then he loses. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's do it. So we inverted Henry's stats. He's 10 overall. And when we inverted Garincha's, he became 8 overall. Despite, honestly, probably having better stats. For some reason, EA just like, nope, he's worse. So, Garincha is out when we invert the stats. He's gone, and Henri moves on to the next round. Garincha is dead. He's gone. Be a full-time YouTuber, they said. It's basically just doing a colouring book. It's not all it's cracked up to be. I feel like a 10-year-old, and I appreciate that. It's all Thierry Henri. Always was. The nation of Thierry is complete. Kate Abdo stands are knee sliding. Henri is now a big boy. He owns the entirety of Scandinavia, plus the British Isles. And Iron Iron is still tiny. He's miserable. Okay, let's spin the wheel again. Before we do that, though, I completely forgot I did this. I put a poll up. Who would win in a rap battle? Zico. Apparently, Zico would win. I've got some interesting comments. I normally have some kind of idea how this stuff could relate to a video, but what the hell is he cooking? Little does he know. So, uh, the nation of Carlos Alberto is dead. It's over, because he would lose in a rap battle to Zico. Carlos Alberto, die. Zico, congratulations, you've inherited the USSR. We can use, like, the biggest brush possible. Make it all Zico land. Oh, this is fun. Zico land is now massive. He is huge. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This map is insane, and R9 is still miserable. He's tiny. Embarrassing. I swear to God, if we get R9 now, I'm going to be so happy. Oh, it could be. That's not going to be. It's going to be Jared Muller. This guy could go anywhere. Literally, like, Van Basten, Bergkamp, Hullet, I mean, Henri, and Zico as well. Literally, he could go all over the place. Okay, which direction is he going to attack in?
in. Zico to the left. Honorary up top. Which direction is Muller gonna go? He's gonna go south. Okay, that's rude, Hullet. Muller versus Hullet. Germany versus Austro-Hungary, plus a bit of the Balkans on my World War II run. Right, let's go. Jared Muller versus Rude Hullet. What's the challenge gonna be? Oh, this is gonna be good. Most goals in the career mode season with their teams. This is gonna be really good. Jared Muller is more of a pure goal scorer, but Rude Hullet in these simulations does so well. Let me set it up. Okay, here we are at Chelsea to go and judge Rude Hullet. 90 overall. 43 games and 19 goals. That's not that many. That's really not that many. I would expect Jared Muller to do better than that. Granted, he was the top scorer for Chelsea, but still not a very good season for them. This could be the end of Rude Hullet, a man that's knocked out a couple of icons already. However, of course, Harry Kane is with Bayern Munich, so it will be interesting to see. Jared Muller could be on the bench. 19 goals. 19 the number to beat. Can Jared Muller do it? 16! Oh my god, he can't! No way! And from the depths, somehow, Rude Hullet keeps on going! Oh my god, all of his goals are in the Champions League. Oh my god! And he's got 16 goals in 13 games. Oh my god, Rude Hullet is so lucky. Muller's higher rated than Kane. Surely he should... Do you know what? It doesn't matter. It's over. What a goal scoring record for Jared Muller, but it's still not enough. And he's out. He's gone. That is maybe the biggest surprise of the entire video so far. Jared Muller is already gone from the video. On a goal scoring challenge, Rude Hullet beats Jared Muller. Insane. And in a move almost opposite to World War II, Austro-Hungary is taking over Germany instead of Germany taking over Austro-Hungary. There is Rude Hullet right in the middle of it all. This is what the map looks like now. Let's spin the wheel again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight icons left. Who are we gonna get? It's gonna be Maldini. Okay. This might be our chance to finally see our nine. This is what Maldini looks like on the map and these are his neighbors. If he goes east, he'll probably be playing against Zico. North will be R9 or Hullet. So let's see what direction he gets. Spin the wheel. See where he ends up going. Southwest. Okay. Well, see, these islands out here are owned by Dennis Bergkamp and that would be southwest. But I would say Eusebio is more southwest. I think that's Bergkamp because these islands and plus, I mean, like up here, that's southwest is like all this. I think that's Bergkamp. I think we're going to have Maldini versus Bergkamp, an attacker versus a defender. And what's the challenge going to be in? Oh God, it's going to be most assists. Oh, it's so over for Maldini. Oh no, the poor guy. We've seen upsets though. Hullet outscored Jared Muller. So, you know, it can happen. But oh God, poor Maldini. Let's just see how he does. There's only a couple of icons left. Not long left in the video. Maybe if Maldini can get over this obstacle, he might have a free run to the end. Let's see how he does. We're here at AC Milan. We're here with Paolo Maldini. Two whole assists for Paolo Maldini. That's actually pretty good for a center back. Let's check on Bergkamp though. I I'm sure Bergkamp won. You never know though. Honestly, stranger things have happened. You know, if Bergkamp was left on the bench for the whole season behind Gabriel Jesus, then he definitely didn't win. Bergkamp, five assists. So <laughs> only a couple more. But yeah, it's, it's, it's enough to win. It's enough to win. Dennis Bergkamp progresses predictably over Paolo Maldini when it comes to assists. There we go. Dennis Bergkamp now owns France, Catalonia, and like most of Italy, I guess. Let's spin the wheel again. Yay. We're really getting there, though. Only seven icons left. Who is next to die? Paolo Maldini fell out last time. Is that Ronaldo? Please, please. Oh, it's Van Basten again. Oh, my God. We still haven't got Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo. <laughs> Oh my god, this poor guy. Actually, no, not, not that poor guy. He's, he knows what he's doing. That's strategies. Anyway, Van Basten has three options. Henri, Hullet, and Bergkamp. Let's see what he ends up with. He's going to go east, and that is going to be rude Hullet. Hullet versus Van Basten. Where are we going to go? What's the challenge going to be? Oh, what's this? Put them on the same team. Better player wins. Put them on the same team for a season. Okay, let's do it. And there we go. Michael Van Basten and Hullet are a strike partnership. Whoever has the better season progresses, and whoever doesn't dies a horrible and painful death in hell alone. Let's go. Okay, we're here at AC Milan. This is the moment of truth. Here we go. Oh, it's a whitewash. Hullet's dead. It's over. The Braids. He played 23 games. He scored two goals. He was terrible. Oh my god. Marco Van Basten, 25 goals. Olivier Giroud got 29. Joke. Marco Van Basten won, by far. Oh my god. Hullet has killed so many people in this video, and now he's dead. I can't believe what I've just seen. I cannot believe that. No way. Open up Photoshop. Rude Hullet. Here he is. Delete the layer. Get out of here. Cringe. Marco Van Basten and uh, Bergkamp have pretty similar colors, so I'm just gonna change Van Basten's color. You can have green. You can have green. There you go. Have that. And the R9 Ronaldo is still there. How has he not been touched yet? There we go. Marco Van Basten is slime, and that's the map now. We're really getting down to it now, folks. Here we go. Six people left on the wheel now. Here we go. That's Bergkamp again. Oh my god. Bergkamp
camp in FIFA is such a bad icon as well. I don't know how he's still here. Which way is he going to go? Gonna go west. That's Eusebio down here for sure. Okay, Bergkamp versus Eusebio. After this, it's gonna be five icons left. R9 still hasn't been picked. And I think it would be pretty funny if we went through everyone and just left R9 in the middle on his own. What challenge are we gonna have? Okay, worst haircut wins. So this is Dennis Bergkamp's haircut. Really like 90s haircut this one is. A little bit more curly in his younger years. Okay, it's actually pretty good. I kind of like it. Even when it was bald, I didn't think it was that bad. But Eusebio's haircut is hella basic. Yeah, this basic ass haircut. No face. No, nothing. Like, at least Pele had a bit of a fade, you know what I mean? Yeah, this is a shoe in It's got to be Bergkamp winning. Yeah, no, no fade or anything. Yeah, nah. We, we, we don't like that. Compared to, like, this haircut, I, I think Bergkamp wins. One of the craziest ways to decide a final five. But here we are. That was easy. Eusebio is gone. He had taken over Iberia, but now it's going to be Dennis Bergkamp's turn. And Dennis Bergkamp more or less owns the entire Mediterranean. Well, definitely the entire Western Mediterranean anyway. Leaving us with a lovely final five. Really? it looks like a final four but it's not because remember he's still there we have Henri up in the north Zico out in the east Burkamp out in the west and Van Basten in the center with R9 just also in the center he's in like what northern Italy slash Slovenia kind of area I, I don't know what he's doing we're gonna spin the wheel we still haven't got Ronaldo we're not gonna get him again it's gonna be Burkamp again is that three times in a row now for Burkamp? here we go Southeast, that's Zico. That's for sure Zico. Like, yeah, southeast of like here. Yeah, yeah, that's Zico. Okay, Bergkamp versus Zico. What challenge is it going to be? Zico versus Bergkamp. We're going back to Grimsby. Here we go. Okay, so what we need to do is very simple. Zico and Bergkamp are teaming up as teammates in this one. Who will they be going up against? We need to spin the wheel of directions. Which direction are they going to end up attacking? Okay, there's literally nobody east. Okay, do you know what? The, the map is actually so small that we're just going to spin the wheel of names. Oh, Thierry Henry. This is going to be good. Okay, it's going to be Burkamp plus Zico versus Thierry Henry. And remember what the goal is. If Grimsby win the title, then Henry is gone. But if Grimsby do not win the title, then Henry knocks out Zico and Dennis Burkamp. This is an absolutely huge moment in the video. If they don't win the title here, they are screwed. Okay, enough said. Let's sim out this season and see how they do. Okay, here we are. This is a massive moment for this simulation. Before we check, how did they do? Burkamp was the top scorer. Zico Zico got the most assists. Okay, they did well. Did they win the league? Fourth! No! They didn't! Oh my god! No! How? They didn't even get promoted! Oh my god! Burkamp and Zico are both out. Thierry Henry, Marco Van Basten, and Iron Iron Ronaldo are left. This is crazy. Oh my god, they didn't do it. How did they not do it? Oh my god. I can't believe this is happening. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. And there we go. The map is almost complete. Thierry Henry owns like the whole thing. Thing. I don't really know where to put him. I guess I'll just put him over here. There he is. Ronaldo is still here. Okay, let's go. Three people left on the wheel. Here we go. Who are we going to get? It's going to be Thierry Henry. It's going to be Henry versus Van Basten. Oh my God. There's like no situation where we get R9. Let's just spin the wheel. Yeah, like southeast. That's Van Basten. Yeah, R9 is southeast of Van Basten. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is going to be Henry versus Van Basten. R9 is going to make the final battle without having to face anyone for the whole video. He's literally really finessed his way here. He's just chilled in Slovenia the whole time. Okay, let's do this. Second last challenge. Oh my god. Oh no. Make them goalkeepers. Whoever keeps more clean sheets wins. Oh, okay. This is gonna be a fun one. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna put Van Basten with AC Milan. I'm gonna put Thierry Henry with Arsenal. And whoever gets more clean sheets wins. Let's do it for a season. And here is Thierry Henry. 12 clean sheets for Henry. That's pretty damn good. 55 games for the French goalkeeper. Because that's what he is. He's a goalkeeper. Uh, yeah, pretty good. He should be pretty happy. Uh, let's move on to Marco Van Basten. Massive moment in the video. Also, Henri scored some goals. I think he got three goals and three assists. That's insane. Uh, let's go. Who is going to be playing against R9 in the final? Is Van Basten going to have enough? 17 clean sheets with 27 goals and 16 assists. I don't know how. <laughs> Are they playing him up front? That is so funny. Oh my God. Marco Van Basten. 17 clean sheets. He's a goalkeeper. Whoever gets more clean sheets wins. Van Basten gets more clean sheets. He wins. What a record for him. Oh my god, he was playing up front. <laughs> that is insane. 
87 diving for a striker. Hey, look, okay. Van Basten gets more clean sheets. Van Basten moves on to the final. And it's going to be Marco Van Basten versus R9. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Okay, that took like 15 minutes. Uh, it's Marco Van Basten. He owns like the entire world. It's all his, apart from what is effectively Northern Italy slash Slovenia, which is just R9. He's held out this entire time. And the final challenge of the video is upon us. So just to see who is attacking who, who will have the advantage in this final challenge? I swear to God, if it lands on R9 now. Oh my God, it's going to be him. Oh my God. This is the strat. He timed it so well. It's R9 Ronaldo. I mean, it doesn't really matter what direction he attacks in. He's going to be facing Marco Van Basten. He's going to the south. That's Marco Van Basten. And here we go. This is the moment of truth. Here we go. Spinning the wheel. What are we going to get? What is this? Most trophies in a career mode season. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, perfect. What we can do is this. I'm going to put R9 with Inter Milan. I'm going to put Marco Van Basten with AC Milan. And whoever wins more trophies between the two Milan teams is officially the champion of Europe. Let's do it. If R9 comes back to win this, if he somehow from the jaws of defeat comes back to win this, I will be astounded. He's done nothing for the whole video. And he's finally here. He's popped up right at the very end. And if he snatches this, it would be the biggest upset in European history. Let's see if R9 Ronaldo can do it. Who's going to win more trophies? Inter Milan versus AC Milan. I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get right to the end of the season and see who wins. Okay, it's May. I'm here with Inter Milan. They're in the Europa League. Okay, that's interesting. Ronaldo's doing well. Yeah, 21 to 14. Right, he's killing it. Whatever. Let's have a look at the league. Oh, they're fourth. Who's top? Oh, no. AC Milan are dominating. Okay. No domestic trophies for either team either. Semi-finals Inter crash out. Milan in the round of 16. Okay. Champions League. AC Milan are there, but they're down. Then Inter, yeah, are in the Europa League semi-final of the Rup. Okay, this is interesting. This is huge. Remember, Ronaldo is attacking Van Basten. So if they get the same amount of trophies, Ronaldo does win. And they're into the Europa League final. And this is a massive game. In the Champions League final, it is AC Milan. They did come back. On penalties, they did it. And in the Serie A, it's AC Milan top of the league again. Uh-oh. Arnine's floundering. Inter Milan have won zero trophies so far. And AC Milan have won one. If Arnine loses this game, he's out. All of that hard work, staying out of battle, swerving opponents is for literally nothing. If he loses this game, it's over. And he wins. Barreo with a goal. Fratesi with a goal as well. One trophy for Inter. One trophy for AC Milan. R9 may have just won himself this video. Did AC Milan do it? Did they win? If AC Milan win this game, Marco Van Basten wins. If AC Milan lose this game, R9 wins. Here we go. So they won the league. Did they win the Champions League? Three, two, one. They lost! No! And it's R9! R9 wins the video! R9 dominates Europe! He's done it! Marco Van Basten, he's done! Get him out of here! Delete the layer! In the event of a draw, the aggressor wins! And R9, from the depths of despair, has done it! He's beaten the odds! He's overcome the doubters! And from a tiny part of Slovenia, R9 Ronaldo is massive! And having that said, thank you so much for watching this video! If you enjoyed this video, then check out this video here. Check it out. It's really good. Arnon Ronaldo wins FIFA Imperialism. Thank you for watching.